This is Julie from Time Life Books. How can I help you? Uh huh. Uh huh. That's fine. Uh huh. In two to three weeks. Ed. Ed. Yeah, Ed. That's Ed, fine. Ed. No. 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 What are you These doing? These are master cards. Cutting the show. That's fine. Ed. Uh, Ed. Yeah, that's right. Ed. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah. Uh, uh. You're supposed to be cutting the show. You said you wanted to direct. We're letting you direct. You're running up our phone bills. What's going on? Uh. This is Ed Marquez, oh, man. and this is Kamikaze. I hope Al Gurney's still available. In two to three weeks. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Oh, nice to be here. I just uh, got here today from San Francisco. Live on Hate Street. Facial capital, uh, facial piercing capital of the world. It's amazing. People, I have a neighbor, a guy who's got a ring here, ring down here ring here. He's like, how do I look? <laughs> like a notebook binder, really. <laughs> Mr. Trapper Keeper? <laughs> totally into California, I'm seeing a woman who sleeps on a futon, which sucks. I don't know if you sleep on futons. It's like sleeping on a gym mat. This is the hardest thing. <laughs> She's like, well, I'll make it softer. I'll put a comforter down, which is like putting a doily on a marble slab. <laughs> It's got some furniture for my parents. Very excited. Every time I visit my parents, they insist that I pick up furniture for my apartment. I just picked up the coveted vinyl recliner, <laughs> which I discovered did not fit in the dumpster. <laughs> you ever sat on vinyl for more than 10 minutes? The sweat just pours off. I was like, I'm not sitting. I'm hydroplaning right now. I passed out, lost eight pounds on one side of my face. Parents want me to get married, too. I gotta get married. I'm gaining weight, I'm falling apart, I'm tired of the singles bars, and I'm pissed off. <laughs> and I figure if I'm getting fat and bitter, I'm taking someone with me. <laughs> Call me romantic. <laughs> I'm just the best man at a wedding. Friends are getting married, I'm just the best man. First time I've ever been to a traditional Catholic wedding, and all I can say is pack a lunch, man. <laughs> <laughs> I left at intermission myself. With the, uh, scripture tonight, the New Testament. <laughs> Plus, I had to go to a bachelor party. I'm too old for bachelor parties, I really am. Before I go on, I will warn you, tonight's show will have adult situations. I got cable. I have no idea what that term means, but it always comes on. following movie has violence, profanity, and adult situations. I don't know what adult situations are. Sex is for high school. Adult situations is paying the mortgage on your house. <laughs> I want to see someone co-sign a loan. <laughs> that is very adult. Basically, this uh, bachelor party involved 20 guys sitting around watching a Swedish dubbed adult movie. They actually dub adult movies. The woman in the movie is going, oh, oh, oh. You know, we all know that <laughs> Swedish women go, hern, 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 hern. <laughs> We know that. <laughs> I've been working all over my favorite accent. Uh, I was up in uh, Canada, Montreal. Uh, uh. Anyone speak French? Speak French? I can know. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Because French people are born with a dial tone. It's amazing. <laughs> 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 It's a weird city, very weird city. People speak French and English. You go up on the street, you don't know what language you're supposed to speak. You don't know whether you're supposed to go, bonjour. <laughs> or, uh, how you doing, eh? <laughs> so what I do, and I recommend it, if you ever go up there, do what I do. I go up and speak English with a French accent. <laughs> I go up, uh, uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> how much for the newspaper? <laughs> and I'll be like, you're not even fluent in your own damn language. <laughs> They talk to smoke in Montreal. Everyone smokes up there. I do smoke because I read that every cigarette you smoke takes seven minutes off your life. I'm 32 years old. If I didn't smoke, I'd be like 36 by now. <laughs> That's why I smoke after sex. I want to relive those last seven minutes. Of the <laughs> But I assume we have a lot of non-smokers as being L.A. You drive down to L.A., welcome to L.A., lose 20 pounds now. <laughs> non-smokers? Anybody? Don't like smokers? 
I have a friend who chain smokes like two packs of Camel non-filters a day. It's just, like, <gasps> and he's like now refrigerating his cigarettes, which is like treating cigarettes as a food group at this point. <laughs> He's like, they gotta be fresh. I'm like, Jim, Camel Non Filters don't have a freshness stamp. I mean, with those things, the expiration date refers to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. You've been a very high group. Good night. No. No. No.